Hello, this is Eric Carver from Medical Electronic Systems. Today I'm going to speak with you a little bit about the post-vasectomy workflow and testing cycle on the SQA Vision Automated Sperm Quality Analyzer. There's several different ways and workflows to use our instrument for this type of test. There are some options based on which criteria you're using as far as the WHO manual recommendations you're following and your own internal procedures. And there's um, some different ways the instrument itself will actually test the sample. So there's a semi-automated mode that will use some of our automated technology. There's also a full manual mode where you're just using lab slides. So I'll kind of touch on all the different options and then provide our recommendation for the best way to use the system. So right here um, on the test now page, uh, under post vas so this is standard across all the sample types in the vision you just want to throw in a patient ID add a first name you can put in a sample ID as necessary patient's birth date if needed days of abstinence the date and time the sample was collected, and then the date and time it was received. Sample volume, this will be important so you can actually get totals for the entire volume. You'll know the number of modal and the number of immodal sperm for the entire ejaculate by the time you're done with the test. You can test for white blood cells, similar to other sample types. And pH, you can use our test strips for both of these parameters. Appearance, viscosity, liquefaction are up to you as you process the sample. If you notice anything funny, if it takes a while to liquefy, etc., you can put in those options. And then you have two fields that you can custom program, as with all the other sample types. Comments. On a post-vas, those can come in handy. If you saw some modal sperm in there, you can make an extra comment about it. Or if you're reporting, let's say, um, just a qualitative result of pass fail or present absent, but you still wanted to add a little bit of extra information about what you saw, you can add that in there. So next is kind of the first decision point as to how you want to run your samples. We have the option of running just a regular raw sample, which would be after it's collected, you run it, don't manipulate it at all, just follow the workflow that the system recommends. You've also got an option to go ahead and centrifuge the sample. So this will, the system will actually allow you to put in your initial volume when the sample was collected, and then after you spin it down and decant some of the seminal plasma to make sure it's concentrated, you can put in your final volume. What this will do is allow the system to calculate the actual results in a quantitative fashion based on what the original ejaculate was. So, for example, if you're removing half the sample, the results would be 50% um, of what they would have been, and the system will calculate that automatically. But let's start with kind of our recommended workflow, which is to start with the raw sample. And what's nice about testing raw first is if there are modal sperm present, you'll have a better chance of making sure that you see them, analyze them, you can record videos of them. Once you start centrifuging, there's a chance that sam uh, sperm cells that may have been modal might end up getting killed or become immodal as part of the centrifugation process. And another feature of the system, after we run our raw sample, the system will give us an option to then retest it as centrifuged. So if you start with raw, you're never losing anything. You can always go ahead and centrifuge it afterwards. Next, we've got the option for semi-auto and another one for manual. So what the semi-auto mode does is allow you to fill your SQA testing capillary with the sample, run it, and what it'll do is identify if it found any modal sperm. So it's not doing a full count. It's not going to give you the immodal sperm. It'll just identify the number of modal sperm. As part of that workflow, it's also going to ask you to then do a full manual scan. And what we're finding is it's oftentimes simpler just to go ahead and do the manual since you're going to need to do it anyway as part of the semi-auto mode. 
Um, the original logic behind the semi-auto mode was to use as kind of a, a double extra screening, but using the manual mode, you're going to be just as effective um, using your eyeballs to actually um, do the assessment. So to start the test, I'm just going to go ahead and click manual here. And again, we're on raw sample, so I'll click manual. So the system's going to zoom out automatically and I'll give you kind of an overview of what you're looking at here. It'll give you instructions. After you've been through it a few times, you can go ahead and say, do not show these again. So you have your patient eye information up here, and then you can see you've got modal, immodal, the number of slides. So the system is gonna give you 50 fields of view scanning all the way through one slide. Um, that sensitivity will get you down in the, the low thousands per milliliter, which is well below the cutoff of 100,000 sperm. But if you want to get that threshold lower and lower and lower, you can do multiple slides. You also have a really great feature here which allows you to record videos or take pictures at any point during the scan. So if you're uh, looking through the sample and all of a sudden you see some modal sperm, you can go ahead and record a video of it. Um, down here, it'll give you um, instructions as to which sample type you picked, and there's also a shortcut for no sperm seen. So if you're scanning through slides and you don't see anything, just click no sperm seen, you're done. Lastly, you've got a little button here, fresh mode. So let's say for some reason the post vasectomy or the vasectomy was unsuccessful and there were tons of sperm in there, or if the sample was actually fresh and was just mislabeled as a post vas, you can go ahead and click fresh mode and it'll take you right back to the normal testing cycle so you can run it as a full fertility semen analysis. So let's go ahead now and show you how to prepare our slide, then we'll pop it in and start our test. So here we have the supplies that we're going to use to run our sample. So we've got a fixed cover slip slide that Medical Electronics Systems manufactures. You can also use a standard 1 inch by 3 inch lab slide with a 22 by 22 cover slip. That'll achieve the same 20 micron depth that our fixed cover slip slide has naturally. Fixed cover slip slides are nice. You don't have to worry about as much spillage or the floating uh, nature of the cover slip on it. It's just fixed. You can't overfill it. Um, so it's a little bit easier to use, but both offer a perfect solution depending on um, budgets and if you want to um, keep it standardized. So to load it, there's a little semicircle here. We're just going to take a little bit of our sample. I don't have live semen here, but I'm using a quality control product, which will illustrate everything just fine. So we'll take our 10 microliters, pop it right on the little semicircle here. And it's probably hard to see on camera, but you can actually watch the sample um, being pulled in to the little chamber here. If it doesn't fill all the way, just give it a little extra. Should be good to go. Then we're going to go ahead and place our slide on the slide adapter. So this is what is actually going to go into the visualization system on the SQA vision. We'll just pop it on. And then you want to grab a Kim wipe, just a standard Kim wipe just kind of dab off any extra. And from there, we're just going to go ahead and pop it into the system. Go ahead and slide the slide adapter into the visualization chamber here. And you notice there's two sides to it, so you can load two samples at once if you want to scan through 100 fields instead of just 50. Totally up to you. The first thing we're going to want to do is focus the sample. So this larger knob here is actually going to focus in on the sample. And then this set, uh, knob here is going to be our stage uh, mover. So what we're going to do is turn this either way all the way till it locks out on one side. And the idea is once we're locked out on one side, right about there, now we can scan all the way through to the other lock point going the opposite direction. And when we do that, we're going to get 50 fields of view. So I'm going to switch over to a view of the actual screen on the vision, which will show you what we're actually looking at when we move that adjustment knob. So back on the actual vision app, we're looking at a digital image of the slide that we inserted into the vision testing unit. You have the option to go full screen here, which I always like. 
get a nice big view of what you're looking at. And you can see here, I'm using quality control beads, but this is about the size of the head of the sperm, as it'll appear on the visualization system. Same here. And the idea is we're just going to turn that adjustment knob from one lock point all the way to the other, which will give us 50 unique fields. And as we go in real time, we're just going to select either modal or immodal as we see them visually on the screen. As I mentioned before, you also then have an option, if you do see some modal, you can record a video for your records and just as proof, um, it'll be saved in the system permanently if you ever need to pull it up and show that you did see either a clean sample, hopefully, or a sample that did happen to have some sperm or some immodal sperm in it. So to demonstrate, I'm just going to start going through. And for example, here in this field, I see three. So I'll just say immodal, one, two, three and just keep scanning through. Altogether, it takes maybe 60 to 90 seconds to get all the way through. Uh, the sperm really will jump out at you. They're not difficult to see when they are present. So we're seeing them as we go. I'm not doing this 100% accurate, but you can understand the concept. Let's say one of these was uh, modal. I just go ahead and say modal here. You can also use the F9 and F10 keys as shortcuts if you want. So I'll keep scanning through. So you can see it's pretty clear here. Here's another one. We can say we saw an immodal. Again, this is just an example. When you see real sperm on there, obviously, you can pretty easily recognize if they're modal or immodal. Say immodal, modal, and there we go. So from here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit my results. Um, you did have the option again to run another slide if you wanted 100 fields of view. You can do that. It'll drop the sensitivity even further. And I'll say results. So you can see here you get quantitative results using the workflow of the vision. So you're going to get modal sperm in millions per ml, immodal sperm in millions per ml, and then also totals for the entire sample volume. As I spoke about earlier, you have a, the option to go ahead and test it centrifuged now, and it'll report, obviously, the higher of the two results. So if it found some sperm on the centrifuged mode that weren't seen just on the regular scan, it'll report those out for you. You can also update or add to your comment section here if you want. And whether you're a facility that's actually going to end up reporting quantitative results, the actual number of sperm in the sample, or let's say you're a facility that tests samples a day, two days after it's collected, it got mailed in or it's a referral from another facility, in that situation you're just going to report present or absent. You'd still get that information in this same format here. Obviously there probably wouldn't be any modal at that point, but you'd still get your immodal and rather than reporting this quantitative value here, you could just go ahead and say present. And again, you have the option to go back, capture an image if you want, and you could put in comments based on what you saw. So this is a little overview of the post-VAS mode on the SQA Vision system. Uh, any questions, comments, go ahead and reach out to us. You can email service at mes-llc.com. If there's anything specific I missed, I'd be happy to uh, refresh it. And we do provide live WebEx demos of the instrument for training. Um, if you ever have specific questions on certain modes or just need a, a update. So thank you for watching. Um, reach out anytime. And remember, it all started with a sperm.